Hello and welcome everybody to a new After Effects tutorial on how to glitch or displace layers and effects within After Effects that you can use for edits, you can use for intros, you can use for outros, you can use for anything that you're having fun with. We're going to go through the steps and processes to do to get this displaced, to get this glitch, and we're going to throw in some TV effects as well. So to get this effect, you're going to need no third-party plugins. All you're going to need is a free stock footage, which I'm going to include a link in the description below. Also, a link to the intro that I personally use this on is going to be down there as well. So I made this random just logo, just something to, to use. And to get this displaced, what we're going to do is we're going to make a new adjustment layer and we're going to drop displacement map on top of it. Now, right now it looks kind of funky and this isn't really the desired effect. Granted, you can change what exactly we're displacing, but that's not really the desired effect. So we're going to drop in this stock footage that we use. Just put it over the, the intro. We're going to change the stock footage to multiply. So it kind of goes over that and then change the adjustment layer in this displacement map layer. We're going to make this the stock footage. So now what you see is it's displacing the stock footage, which if we kind of make normal, you can kind of see a little bit of a difference. It's just, I mean, there's not much to it because it's just a blur layer, but it's, it's changing what exactly is being displaced. So once we go back to this, we make this multiply. We're going to see that it displaces it pretty well. This has a pretty cool glitch effect. And as you can see, it kind of goes crazy. So we don't need to displace it that much. We can just go probably 20 and 20 just to be safe. We don't really need too much. So you can see it kind of displaces it. And there are parts where the borders aren't showing and, and whatnot. But that's not necessarily going to be a bad thing because I don't necessarily think that you're going to be using this. I mean, you could be, and I could be mistaken, but most people don't use this as a consistent displace or a, dis, a distinct glitch that's going to last for a while. So what we're going to do is we're going to just jump forward a couple frames, just chop the layer, and then we're going to not duplicate this place. We're going to duplicate the adjustment layer. We're just going to slide it down a little bit, make it you know, extend a little bit, duplicate the layer again, bring it out, make a really short one, just two, two or three frames, bring it out again, and just kind of move it down and things like that. So that's going to be the... Uh, the displacement so then on top of that displacement what we can do is in between here you're just gonna have this this glitch effect you can lower the opacity if you don't want to see it in between glitches but you can kind of see it's going a little bit crazy so in addition to that what we can do is we can add a TV effect now if you just type in TV into your search bar here there's three special effects there's warp old or weak weak is gonna be the one that we're gonna be using so we can make a new adjustment layer on top of everything else and we can bring this TV week on now as you can see it kind of you get these cool looking lines which you can change the the width of you can change some different things there you can make it just one if you want to see some skinny stuff but I think five is a pretty good length so then you can also change the amount of noise wave height is is kind of in its own little world but you can change the width if you want to see these these lines get a lot larger so then within that you can kind of see it's looking pretty good to be honest right now just as this but what you can do to make it kind of just specifically for the logo is you can bring a mask on top of this so what we're gonna do is we're going to just make a make a little bit of a mask here it doesn't have to be perfect from that mask I usually prefer to feather it about 50 or so and then you can kind of see it has this really cool just effect of, of a TV little blur so then what we're gonna do is we're going to do the same thing that we did with the displacement map is we're gonna chop this up and just put it in random places so we'll duplicate we'll go here we'll do really short bring it out a little bit go here bring it out a little bit make it really short within that what you can do for these other ones is you can change the mask so the mask that you have you can bring here here and maybe up here and then for the third one Maybe you want it to be more so down and out than anything else. So then you can also change the noise. Like I think there's a little bit too much noise here. So you can turn down the noise completely and have it just be these lines. I'm going to have to turn down the noise on all three of them. Not a big deal. So once you get these lines, you can kind of, here's a little bit of a displace and the TV glitch, which looks nice as well. And you can also use this TV glitch for a 
transition, which I made in the intro, which is annotated above. You can use it for that too. I can do a separate tutorial on that. But this one's just gonna be displacing and TV glitching, if you will. So let's just kind of show you guys what it looks like, give a little bit of a preview, and then you guys can see if this maybe fits what you're looking for, if there's something that you can use this for. Uh, there's many different uses in, in such nature. So you can kind of see it's got the glitch. You can see the TV parts come in. You can keyframe things if you want to animate that as well. There's so many different options that you can do with this. And uh, like I said, you can cut up the overlay of the displacement if you only want it to displace at certain times and you just want to see the logo with nothing on it. You can change the opacity of the overlay layer and things like that. So I hope that this was helpful to you guys. I hope that this was beneficial. I hope you learned something. Uh, like I said, if you want to look at the intro that I made for it, if you want an intro done specifically for you, customize, send me the link of the intro and a little bit of cash and I will make it for you. So thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, everybody.